all of you hope you guys are great so in this video you will find out that what alternative do you have to upload your nft the metadata to the ipfs network so what we did in the nft marketplace we had used infura as an ipfs provider we had used the global endpoint which was provided by infura for uploading all the metadata all the nfts without any worry but recently infura had made a lot of changes in terms of utilization so if you want to utilize this service you have to put your valid gate card details and that global endpoints which was working previously no longer in use so first you have to generate your own private key you have to get your own secret key and you have to create your own endpoint for the ipfs then only you can deploy any metadata or any nft so I have already explained that how you can do that. So this is, was the global endpoint we had used at the first place when we were working on the project. And I also made a complete tutorial that how you can get your own project ID and own secret key where I have explained that what are the things you have to do, how you have to set the limits. So if you haven't watched, I'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that. So these are the configuration you have to do if you want to still go with this Infura. But in this video, I'll give you an alternative in that you don't need to put any valid gate card details. All you have to do is to generate your private key, secret key, and you can utilize in your project and you can simply upload the NFT to the IPFS. What I have noticed, many of you have got stuck because of this credit card issue. So those of you had credit card, they have generated their private key, secret key and endpoint and they have continued with their project. But many of you guys have left behind because of this issue. And some of you guys have asked me to give me my credential, which I have used in this project. Obviously, that's not possible because there is a certain threshold. So if I cross that threshold, I have to pay money for that. OK, so in this video, I'll show you an alternative which you can utilize it. That's pretty easy and it's work in the same way. So the provider we're going to utilize, it's called EINATPNAT. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. I'll link this website in the description so you guys can come and you can read about it. That's what it does. In this, you don't need to put any credit card details. All you have to do is to create your account and you can generate the private key and secret key and you can use in your project to make calls to the IPFS. So all you have to do is to make sure to create your account. OK. So create your account and I have already created my account. So I'll simply click on login. So once you create your account, this is how the dashboard look like. And the first thing you have to do is come back to this API key sections. So I have already generated this API key. So what I will do, I will simply click on this remove and I will say remove key. So the key is removed and now I will click on this new key. So once you will click on the new key, make sure that you have to tick everything. So if you click on this tick, and you can see, simply check this one, make sure that everything is ticked, all the data is ticked, and you have to tick this one as well. So the maximum uses, you have set the limit, you can take it up or you can take it down. So I'll keep it to one, just like this. And you can give whatever name you want. I'll say NFT place, because that's what I'm generating for us. So click on this create key, and it will generate the key for you. So this is the key you have and this is the secret key and this is the JWP token which you don't need to worry about it. So make sure you should grab this one, grab this one and keep it in your project in .env file. So once you're done with that, so these are the two data you need from this platform and now you are ready to deploy the data to the IPFS. And don't use my key because I'm going to remove and it's not going to work for all of you guys. So let's come back to the Discord server because I have already given you the function that how you have to make it call. Right now, I will show you that how you can do it because I don't want to show every single thing. I don't believe in spoon feeding. So I want you to come and read the documentation because they have very clean resource, clean documentation. So you can easily able to figure it out that how you can upload the NFT. But for make it more easy for all of you guys, I have already built the function and all you have to do is to utilize this function in the place where you are simply uploading the NFT. So here I'm in the Discord server, the blockchain coder. I will provide the link in the description so you guys can come and you can simply copy the code. So this is the entire function I have written for uploading the NFT to the Pinata service. Actually, I'm working on a project where I'm using Pinata for uploading the NFT. So that's the same function which I have written, which I'm providing to all of you so you guys can simply get it. Okay, so if you guys want me to make a dedicated video in that I can show you that how you can integrate this Pinata and upload the NFT, then do let me know in the comment section. But before you tell me to write, I just want you to give a try because they have a very clean documentations. All you have to do is to call the endpoints, provide your API key and simply upload the data. That's pretty easy. 
read the documentation because reading documentation will give you a very good idea and you will become a good developer okay i don't believe in spoon feeding but if you guys insist me then definitely i'll make a video and that i can show you that how you can integrate so the main thing you have to do is this part so this is the entire thing where we are simply uploading the nft the metadata to the ipfs so what we did this is the global endpoint provided by the pinata so that's the url you have to keep here and this is the data we are getting so we are converting in form data and here we are providing the pinata api and the pinata secret key and this is the some metadata header configuration we are doing that's the only thing so once you call this function it will return you the entire metadata and you can easily able to utilize in the project so it's pretty easy i'm not coming up with this they have this in the documentation i want you to find out the documentation and read it because that will give you a very good insight okay so that's the only thing you have to do and you can easily able to upload your nft to the ipfs through pinata so do let me know what do you think about it if you guys want me to make a dedicated video on this where i can show you that how you can integrate then do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely make a video on that but before you tell me to do that i want you to give a try because spoon feeding is not always good and in that way you will not learn much i want you to give a try that will give you a real insight that how you can come with a logic and how you can make application workable okay so with that i'm ending this video and if you're new to my channel hit like and subscribe and if you haven't built the nft marketplace i'll link in the i button in the description first see that what we are building and then start working on the project because that will give you a really good understanding that how entire blockchain work how you can write the smart contract how you can build the front end how you can test the contract how you can connect the contract with the front end and how you can make it usable to the other to other users so you can they can utilize your application to create nft okay that's going to be a very good project industry ready project we have built so make sure to check that as well so that's the only thing i want to talk about hope you guys have liked this if you still have any confusion in doubt let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to answer and make a video of that with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye bye